What's up, y'all? My name is Miles out of Holiday World in Dallas, Texas. We got this 2022 Keystone Springdale 280BH that we're gonna look at today. I apologize, I forgot my sunglasses. I'm looking almost directly into the sun, so I know I'm probably squinting a little bit, but it is what it is. We're still gonna make the video. So, excited to look at this unit, and here's why. A couple different things. One, this is basically an entry level bunkhouse travel trailer that has washer dryer hookups in it so i was very surprised to see that um i don't know if i have ever seen this floor plan before even though i don't think it's a new 2022 floor plan i don't think i've ever seen it before in the over two years i've been selling rvs so this is pretty interesting seeing the washer dryer hookups in here plus this thing will sleep like eight to ten people and have some really cool changes for 2022 that we're going to look at but before i talk too much let's just get into it what's up y'all welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos just sit back relax and enjoy and if you do find yourself enjoying the video considering hitting that like button down below and that subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers around the world plus we're gonna have so many more 2022 units coming in and i will be having so much content coming for y'all with all that stuff that we're seeing hitting our lots if you want to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can find the links for my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook down below. And then finally, my contact information will be at the end of the video and in the description. You can call, text, or email me if you have further questions. And if you come into a Holiday World store, whether it's my Dallas location or one of our other locations, just let someone know that you saw my YouTube videos. All right, real quick, as we approach this Springdale, you can see we got quite a few different ones now at this point. Majority of them are 2022s, the easiest way you can tell. This is a 2021 right here, and this is a 2022. So you see the difference as far as the decals on the front end of what the 2022 looks like. Plus, you can't see it on some of them, but some of them you can see the solar panel on the roof, which is a clear dead giveaway. That is a 2022 as well, because all 2022 Keystone trailers are coming with a 200 watt solar panel standard on their units, including their entry level Springdale line. So coming through here, this is your pass through storage. It is a good size storage compartment. And now you can see we're looking at an aluminum sided trailer. So if you don't know the difference between like aluminum sided and something that is fiberglass sided like these here, the biggest difference is something that is fiberglass sided is going to have aluminum framing, whereas something that is aluminum sided is going to have wooden framing. So you can see here underneath here, it's all wooden framing throughout here on how it's constructed. If you looked at one of the fiberglass sided ones over here, it's all gonna have aluminum framing throughout here. So that's really one of your biggest differences. That's gonna be your main differences there as far as the construction goes. Obviously the shell as well with it being an aluminum sided shell. But these are gonna be regarded as like an entry level travel trailer. And really that is mostly just because everything as far as the inside as well is kind of stripped down as far as your features and stuff that you have. But we'll get into that because there's still a lot of really great things about this trailer. And it is something that I wouldn't hesitate to buy if it you know, wasn't something I needed some extravagant RV for, for what I wanted to do. So that's gonna be that. The specs on this, uh, got them right here on the screen for you. But I went and looked on the sticker inside the door and it is exactly 33 feet, one inches and is 7,070 pounds. So that's your weight there. You're going to have two 20 gallon propane bottles that it will come with and a power tongue jack here. So that'll go up and down with these switches. Makes it your life real easy basically. You don't have to hand crank anything. Also worth noting, here's your battery hookups here, but you have this control switch here, which basically this is going to allow you to kill all power to and from your battery with this flick of the switch. So you don't actually have to go through and turn off all your lights individually and stuff like that to kill everything going to the battery. You can just do it there at that terminal when you're leaving your campsite or whatever to make sure you're not draining your battery. However, having the 200 watt solar panel on the top on a sunny day like today is gonna to make sure that that battery stays charged all the time. As you can see, two entrances into this travel trailer. You have the solid steps up here and then you have the more traditional RV steps here. The reason they give you two different sets of steps is because if you were to park this trailer too close to a wall over here or another RV or anything like that, these legs swing in and out of the door like that. And if there's not enough clearance here for those doors, those legs to swing out, you can't actually get through that door. So they give you another set of steps like this here. So just in case you are in that predicament, you can get through into your RV. You do have a really good size awning on here. You can see it's about three quarters of the way of the RV and you have an LED light strip underneath it. I like how Keystone places theirs where you get use of the LED light strip, whether your awning is in or out because some people put that LED light strip on the railing. So you have to move your awning all the way out before you can see the LED light strip, which 
doesn't give you the light if you don't have your awning out. So I like that they do that that way on the Keystone products. You're gonna have the outside kitchen and this is going to be a little bit of foreshadowing to what the inside looks like because you see you have all black designs here and it looks the same inside so it looks really really cool but you're gonna have a two burner cooktop out here pretty standard as far as just the outside kitchen setup goes and then your dorm style refrigerator and a nice light up in here you have power supplies in here you have usb chargers here that is one of my favorite things i just realized this when i went camping with my family like i had my phone charging here almost all the time that's also because i was filming stuff but great place to just be able to set your phone and charge it and not have to have it like dangling off the side of the rv or like off this outlet right there so definitely like that and felt that that was very useful actually you have a spare tire on the back end here you do have a place for backup camera prep if you do want to put a backup camera and then you have a spray port here as well that a hose can hook up to so you can have an outside hose on this side of your rv as well coming around to this side this is going to be your satellite hookup so if you wanted to hook up a, a basically free roaming satellite that would sit out here on the side of your rv that's what i would plug in right there you're going to have your outside shower on this side so this compartment door may be locked yeah and i don't have my keys on me but basically you're going to have hot and cold water controls there with a shower head and then you're gonna have a black tank flush valve. So this here is going to be basically, you hook up a hose to this and it's gonna send pressurized water through your black tank to flush that out. And as you can see here, you have your black and gray tank from your main bathroom that will exit out right here. And I say main bathroom, it's the only bathroom in there, but that's where all of that is going to dump out right there. And then finally, it's going to be a 50 amp unit. So you will have a 50 amp plug right here on the outside. Coming around to this end, you're going to have your fresh and city water connections here. Basically, fresh water connection is what's going to allow you to fill your fresh water tank. City water connection is where you'd hook up if you have a constant water supply wherever you're camping and you just want to run off that water supply. Finally, in here, because it has the 200 watt solar panel, you have the solar charge controller right here, which you can scan that QR code and it will give you an app to download that it will allow you to monitor your battery charge as well and you have inverter prep. So if you wanted to expand upon your solar system, add an inverter, add more solar panels, things like that, you can do that. Adding things like the inverter is going to give you capabilities to run outlets and things like that off the solar inside as well. So those options are available to expand upon the solar packages. But that's pretty much everything on the outside. So let's venture into the inside and see all the exciting stuff going on in there. As we head inside, I try to always point out that we are a priority RV network dealer here at Holiday World of Dallas. Essentially what that is, is if you look at this map here, we have about 130 different locations across the United States, where if you are in the middle of a trip and you have an emergency that needs to be looked at right away so that you can continue on your trip without any troubles, all 130 different dealerships we're partnered with will actually get you in the front of the line at their service department. So it is a pretty significant service that we offer there being partnered with all these different groups and it is something that is no charge to you it's just part of being a holiday world customer and a really big deal so i try to make sure y'all understand that's something we offer here at holiday world and something you automatically become a part of and is a big reason why we have a 4.9 star rating on google like we do here so but let's walk inside now initially when i walked in here there were a few different things that I thought. The first things I saw and noticed were like, oh my gosh, the color change is pretty crazy. Everything in the 2021 Springdales was like gray, gray, gray. And I'm gonna get a picture of a 2021 to put up here so you can kind of see what the 2021s looked like. So when I walked in here and I saw black with gold handles and you know, kind of offset with this tan color wood, I was pretty impressed. I think it was not at all what I expected. And sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes that can be a bad thing. In my opinion, I think it is a great thing. I really do like the change. Um, you let me know down below in the comments though, what you think. What do you think about this interior color design change? Let me know if you like it or hate it. But this is what they're going with for the 2021 Springdales. A couple things I really like right away that I noticed as well is you have a barreled ceiling. It is a pretty aggressively barreled ceiling as well. Um, there's a pretty significant arch to it so being 6'2 like I am I definitely noticed that and the height clearance in here has got to be like 6'7 6'8 like it is definitely tall makes a big difference in this living space in areas like the bathroom and things like that in the shower so really really like that every Springdale is now coming with these 12 um 12 volt 
10 cubic foot refrigerators work great in unison with the solar panel because these are running off your battery and your solar panel is going to make sure that battery is always charged. So they're gonna work really great together, these refrigerators. One, they don't have the coils that are usually back here that you get with like a propane refrigerator. So you get more space in here and they cool down way faster. I've literally only had a battery pack plugged into this thing for maybe 10, 15 minutes and I can already feel this thing getting significantly cooler and it's been literally maybe 15 minutes at that. So it'll probably be all the way cooled down within an hour just off that battery. So pretty cool there. You'll see that in pretty much every Springdale except they're really small like single axle units that they have. And then fireplace, that's another thing that you're seeing in a lot more of your Springdales now is you have the fireplace here. It'll have four different colors on it, but it does put out heat. So that's something you don't see in you know every travel trailer of this class that we're in and being somewhat of an entry-level travel trailer so love to see that as well i also like you have a big spot here for a tv springdales aren't going to come equipped with a tv in most cases but you do have a big space here you can fit a big size tv in here and i like that you have a space where you don't even have to mount it to the wall necessarily if you just want to put it on the table there but you can mount it to the wall as well this little plug right here is part of the key tv system so this is going up to the roof and if you wanna put a satellite on the roof, the wiring job is already done for that. That's the hardest part of the job. So if you wanted to add that in there, add a satellite, the wire that runs up to the roof, it's already pre-wired in there. You have all your hookup controls here, or not hookup controls, but your light and slide out controls, your water heater, turning that stuff on, checking your tank levels is all here. But then this is what really surprised me. This right here, you open this up, First of all, it's huge on its own, a huge space in here, but it has washer dryer hookups in here. So you can take these shelves out and put a full stackable washer dryer in here, which is just insane. That's something that is so rare in a bunkhouse travel trailer like this. I opened that door and I did not expect that at all. And I've been, like I said, I've been selling RVs for like over two years now. So I feel like it's hard for me to be surprised at a lot of things, but I really did not expect that. And I think that's a really cool touch. You have the bathroom next to your bunk beds here. Again, the barreled ceiling, you can see how it's just increasing your ceiling height that you have in the bathroom. And with this skylight, you can probably be 6'6 six, six or 6'7 six, and still stand in this shower. So it's gonna be a pretty standard RV style shower. You have a slight step up into that area, but because of the barreled ceiling, you don't really notice it. And then you just have a standard curtain there. Um, let's see if it's a, is it a plastic or it's a porcelain toilet actually surprised to see that but you have a porcelain Dometic toilet there so a, a more quality sturdy toilet and then you're gonna have storage underneath the sink just a little bit of storage underneath there you don't really need a whole lot of storage in the bathroom anyways medicine cabinet and all that so that's your bathroom setup right next to it is your bunk beds these are both gonna be like double over double bunks essentially is what they're called. Um, but a larger size bunk bed, they're about six feet long or so. I know I've slept on plenty of these in my time RVing and well into my years of being over six feet. And I usually would just lay diagonal on them or usually like diagonal this way. I've never had a problem with my feet hanging off the end so it doesn't really matter to me. But what I like is one, you have a light on this one and you have a light down on this one. So each person gets their own individual light. Each person gets their own individual windows so you can get a breeze through there you have this nice little cargo net here to hold some things and then you have your usb ports here as well so really everything you need plus this ladder comes out making it easier to get up there sometimes they have these ladders where it's just you can't even move it so it's literally just sitting straight up and down like that and not exactly the easiest thing to use especially for little kids so the fact that that ladder pulls out makes that a whole lot easier also just a little hack if your kids don't like that these are like hard wooden legs right here and it's like uncomfortable for their feet. I've seen people cut noodles where you'll take like a pool noodle and you'll just cut a slit in it that'll allow you to wrap it around this leg and make it more comfortable for your kids. So that is something I've seen that you can do as well. But that is everything kind of in this area here. And you do have the dividing curtain as well. Something that you definitely do not see in every single bunkhouse trailer like this. So you do have the privacy curtains when you turn those lights off close the window you won't be able to see up in there but another thing that's just a small little touch that like i said a lot of times you don't see 
You have an LED light strip up above the slide out, makes things look really nice in here. This is a jackknife sofa. So basically with one hand, you can make this thing go flat, turn it into a bed and someone can sleep there. One or two people really. I've seen my uh, brother-in-law and sister both share that and it can be done. So when people say, oh, I don't know if I can fit two kids on there. I've seen two adults sleep on there. So I don't wanna hear two kids couldn't fit on there because I know they can. They just gotta be friendly. <laughs> but this will also make into a bed here. This will be about six feet long or so. This table is a freestanding table. So you can move it around really wherever you want. You could even take it out of the RV, but it collapses down and comes back up. We'll fill into this space. You take these back cushions and put it on top of the table when it's in the down position and it'll make this into a bed. Plus, you'll have storage compartments underneath here. Basically, there's just a small little wooden piece here that lifts up that allows you to get into that compartment under there. So you'll have storage under there. One thing I also like to point out a lot of times is underneath these slide out boxes, you have your flooring that is wrapped underneath here. And this is something that is important to look at because there are a lot of brands where I've actually looked underneath here in the slide out boxes and the flooring underneath here is not wrapped. It's literally just exposed wood. So you have the flooring wrapped in all your slide out boxes. You don't have to worry about that. And this is like an oversized slide out here. So you have a sofa and dinette in the slide out, really opening up the space. Above your TV, you have the storage drawers here. So you can put movies and things like that in this area. And then in your kitchen, you're gonna have the gray stone oven and three burner cooktop. Nice campsite window as well. This is a pretty good size window just to give you a view onto your campsite. You'll have the three burner cooktop, a standard size microwave. It's a gray stone microwave as well. And then you'll have all of your storage throughout here. I think, yeah, that wraps through to that, all the way to that corner. An outlet back in this corner. So I like where that's placed. And you have an additional outlet right up here as well. So you have two outlets in this space that can be utilized. And I think it's just those two. You also have two lights in this area that I didn't even have on. So I like the outlet situation because that's always important. Having two outlets in the kitchen is sometimes you don't find that. Sometimes there's only one set of outlets. So glad to see that. All these drawers will pull out here. Pretty self-explanatory with those. And then, wow, I didn't even open this before. This is the first time I've opened this. And that is a big space in there. If you had this open, this is like a hide and seek spot for a kid. So <laughs> that is a very large space underneath there. A lot you could do with that space for sure. That pretty much completes everything in this area. I do want to point out one thing about the construction of a Springdale. The flooring that you have in here is the exact same flooring they put in the Keystone Montana, which if you don't know what a Montana is, a Montana has been the number one selling luxury fifth wheel in the country for the past 20 plus years in a row. And one of the biggest things about a Montana that is so durable in its quality is the flooring they use in it. It's what they call Dynaspan. It's like a marine grade flooring that they use that is completely water resistant. Essentially, you could pour water on it and it would just bubble up on there and it would never absorb into that flooring. Comes with a 25 year warranty and Keystone has never had a warranty claim on it. So really big deal. They use that in the Springdale all the way up into their Montana. So the fact that they're using the same flooring in here as they do in our, you know, $100,000 Montanas, it's pretty significant. Let's go into the bedroom. The bedroom, there's really nothing too special to it. I do like the design here again with the colors. I think it looks really good. You're gonna have your standard size queen bed. There is gonna be storage up underneath the bed as well. So you'll have your storage compartment underneath there. You have the second entrance in here. So you'll be able to come in and out of this um, area here. Now, I'm trying to think if there's any other instance where you may want to come in through here, but I think it's really just going to be a purpose of coming in and out of your bedroom because if the slide out is closed, you're not really going to be able to get into this living space here. You'll be able to get into it from that other door. Sometimes this door is utilized to make sure you can get to all your stuff with the slide out closed, but not in this instance. You have access to your pass-through storage underneath here. So you'll have a little door there. You have your outlets here, outlet on that side as well. As you can see, they both say inverter prepped on them or inverted outlet. So that's what I was talking about, where if you add the inverter, you can start getting power coming to these outlets here. And you have your storage inside of here. Same thing on the other side as well. This unit does only have one AC on it. 
Now you can get a second AC in the bedroom here that can be ducted into the system. So, or I believe it can be ducted. It might actually just be a drop down in this size travel trailer if I remember correct. Um, but you can get the second AC in the bedroom. So since it is a 50 amp unit, that is something that could be added on if that's something that you want as well. Finally, a place for a TV. If you wanted to mount a TV in your bedroom, go on this wall right here and you have all your hookups for that there. I think that's just about everything in here. Now I know with these RVs, I'm no like certified expert. So if there's something I missed, please let me know down below in the comments or if there's some information you know about these things that I may not know, let people know down below in the comments so they can have that information. That's one of the awesome things about this community is y'all do that all the time. And I really appreciate it because it just helps people get all the information they're looking for. So if I missed anything, leave a comment down below. If you're interested in this RV or really just interested in any kind of RV, my contact information will be at the end of the video. You can call, text, or email me. All my information will be there. And it's also in the description down below. And if you come to a Holiday World store, whether it be my Dallas location or one of our other locations or give one of our stores a call or anything like that, and it was my videos that inspired you to check out Holiday World for your next RV, just let them know that you saw my videos. It's one small thing you can do to make sure I get credit for the work I put into these and I'd really appreciate it. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see y'all again.